Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you how you can easily add a POS plugin in your WooCommerce based e-commerce website. If you are running any e-commerce website based on WooCommerce, you can easily add a POS plugin to take orders from your customers and you can easily track the inventory. So let's get to be started. Here in this video training, I have selected WePos. I found this plugin is very easy and functional. Here I am on the WePos website and I will provide the link in the video description. Once you are here, you will see several options. You can start with the free options and other three pro options, starter, professional and business. Most probably you can use the starter one for one site. You have three websites, you can choose professional one and for five website you can choose business okay if you need any of this you can use my link that will help me to promote my youtube channel okay i'm going to start with the free option so now let's get to be started well friends here i'm on the dashboard of my wordpress website and i'm going to install the plugin from here and here you can see plugins and click add new here goes the plugin search box. I'm going to search for Uipos. And here goes the expected plugin. I'm going to click install now button. Then click active. And here you can see Uipos plugin is installed and activated. At the same time here you can see a new menu Uipos and it has two sub menus settings and view boss okay let's click or start with the settings and here goes the basic setting interface the first option is general and it has two options calculate tax for fee and barcode scanner field if you would like to add tax with the price of the product then select yes otherwise select no and the barcode scanner field option you can use the id and the sq as the barcode or you can add custom barcode if you select custom field then you will find a field in the product area i'm going to choose id and hit save changes and the next panel or setting is receipts here you can see two options you can customize the header most probably you can add the brand name and here goes the footer and hit save changes if you make any change and now let's see the interface of wepos okay to get that here you can see under wepos another menu is view pos just click on it and here goes this interface okay i'll show you everything step by step and firstly start with this area here you can add product and here you see two options scan and product if you have a barcode scanner just select scan and just scan the code using the barcode scanner and if you would like to add the product in the card manually just select product and type the product name or type the id or sq of the product i'm going to search for a product that is dnk green shoes I'm going to type it and here goes the suggestions and I was just looking for this one DNK green shoes just click on it and friends here you can see on the right side the product is added on my card this is the simplest option to add product in the card and on the right here you can see all category sometimes you can just filter the product by category I'm just going to click main and here you can see all the product under main category if i select accessories here you can see all the products under accessories i'm going to just add this on bracelet just i'm going to search for here and here you can see anchor bracelet or you can easily click on the product uh, if you are in a hurry just you simply click on the product and that will be uh, added on the cart section just click on this product 
it will be added on the cart section that's fine okay you have three options you can scan the product using barcode scanner you can search for the product manually or you can just filter the products by categories and click on the product to add on the cart okay and another option here you can just display the product as a list or as a grid okay so if you display the product as a list here you will see a plus sign and if you click on that the product will be added in the card area okay friends now i'm going to show you how you can add a variable product okay so here you can see a variable product i'm going to click on it and it shows the variations and which color do you want to add color blue and the size and click add product and here you can see the product is added with the variations color blue and size m by now we learned how we can add the product in the cart section so let's see how we can manage the quantity here you can see the green shoe the customer added or we added the quantity on just click on it here on the arrow key just click on it and from here you can just increase or decrease the quantity of the product but you can't just uh, make the quantity zero if you would like to remove the product from here just click on this cross sign and it will be removed okay friends let's see how we can manage customers here you can see our option source option you can search for any customer from here and hit enter and you can see no customer but you can also add customer using this plus sign just click on here and you will see a new pop-up window to add customer well friends here goes three options in the subtotal area add discount add fee or add note if you would like to give your customer a discount just click add discount and on the top write the amount of the discount and you can add the discount by percentage or a flat rate okay i'm going to give a 10 percent discount just click on 10 percentage discount and here you can see the 10 percent discount i'm going to remove it and again click add discount and this time i'm going to type 100 and click here just flat rate and here you can see 100 discount is added and if you would like to add fee just click add fee and i'm going to type 50 and and here also you see two options percentage and flat rate i'm going to add flat rate total 50 dollar uh, fee and here it is and add note you can add note hello okay now here goes pay option but before going to pay option i'm going to show here you can empty the card if you just click over here just card will be empty and that's all and help option and you can log out from this system and finally i'm going to click here pay now and here goes only one option with the free version pay by cash and you can get back to the sale again click here and you will be sent here again just click pay now i'm going to pay by cash and the amount is 695 and click process payment and here goes it sales complete you can print the receipt and here goes it uh, just select the printer all pays layout portrait landscape and click print okay and you can start a new cell then it will be clean okay i'm going to click here to new cell and here it is the card is empty well friends if you find any difficulties with this tutorial or you find difficulties to follow with this plugin you can let me know through the comment box and I just appreciate your comment. If this video helped you, 
Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you again with a new video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.